What is up, folks and dogheads? BBK Dragoon here. Sword gameplay on Countdown. Countdown Hadoken. <laughs> so, a quick gameplay this afternoon. I'm coming at you, thugs and thugettes, today with a question for you. Normally, the questions are directed towards me. I'm directing them towards you. I want to know what you think would be the best ranking system in Halo 4. Obviously, Halo Reach is not the most optimal example of a freaking awesome ranking system. I mean, for goodness sakes, they don't even have a Rumble Pit ranked playlist. No! Halo 3 had Lone Wolves, had Team Doubles, Team Slayer, I think Team Snipers is even ranked in Halo 3. So, I would like to ask you thugs and thugettes a very brief question to help me out, because here's where I stand. I liked Halo 3's ranking system, but there were some flaws to it. It was not fun losing your rank when you would lose, like, just two games in a row. Maybe maybe three games in a row, then we're probably good. But I loved Halo 3's idea that, you know, even after you've reached the cap, say you reach level cap in Halo 3, you've hit, you've played the maximum amount of games you can, you can still play to rank. And so there's still a metagame within the end game of the, the matchmaking system. Whereas Reach, I do not feel that you can really go into arena and have that same kind of fun. That's just my opinion. So, here is your assignment, thugs and thugettes. I would like you to number one, tell me what your favorite ranking system was in any Halo game and why. That'll help me out. That'll let me sort of get an, an idea or understanding what you all thought was fun in the ranking systems in previous Halo games or even, dare I say it, you could say Reach. You could say Reach was your favorite for ranking, but uh, you know, yeah. And then number two, what I would like you to do is please tell me what you would like to see out of Halo 4. Oh, did I just jump on that dude? I think I did. What you would like to see out of Halo 4 rank system. What would keep you interested? What will be good for the franchise? Many of you are probably better connected in the Halo scene than I am. I'm just now sort of getting interested in things like the Halo Council and, and getting reading forums and that sort of thing. And... There's a lot of awesome information out there and a lot of awesome ideas out there. And I know my community definitely has some, some people with some good ideas. So I would really like to hear that feedback. For me, what I would like to see is something robust enough to allow hardcore players to have that endgame content. To be able to play quite a bit uh, once that level cap has been hit. You know, I want to see a nice metagame at the very end of the matchmaking road, or even while you're, you know, in them. It doesn't have to be at the end of your matchmaking thing. I'm just speaking by examples. Normally, say you max a game out, it's really nice to have a ranking system like Halo 3 because you can still go back in there and try and level other playlists, and and there are objectives to pursue. I don't know. Maybe I yippity-yapped too much about it. I would like to hear your feedback. If it is some good stuff and I get some good responses back, I will definitely feature it in the next Monday night in the pit. So... Keep that in mind. Thank you all for watching. My name is BBK Dragoon. Thank you, M Vito, for beasting it up this game. And you all have a good Tuesday. Peace.